Hey, this is Justin with GoVacuum.com, and we get a lot of questions about central vacuums. We are central vacuum experts. Uh, we have many, many years in the central vacuum business, and most of the time, the biggest question we get is, what is a central vac? How do I install a central vac? So to answer that, I'm just going to go over for a couple minutes here to explain it for beginners. A uh, central vacuum is essentially a vacuum cleaner that is centrally located in your home, in a basement, garage, utility room, and all the dirt collects into that unit and then you go out through your home and you plug in your hose into your wall. So on your wall throughout your home you'll have these inlets. Now these inlets are placed every five to eight hundred square feet depending upon if it's new construction or existing construction. A central vacuum can be easily adapted by you the homeowner in an existing home. It's very easy and usually can be done in about a weekend. Um, but what you do is you walk around your home, you open this inlet, and you take your hose and you plug your hose into it. Now the central vacuum hose is 30 to 35 feet and it just plugs in just like that and that's all you have to do. Now that does not turn on the central vacuum when you buy one of our good central vacuums at GoVacuum.com because you have a hose and on the end of that hose you have a switch. That switch turns on and turns off the central vacuum unit so if the phone rings you can turn off the unit, come back, hang the phone up, turn it back on and you're good to go vacuum. So the hoses themselves are very well built, they're crush proof so if it pops that, it gets crushed, it pops right back into place, you don't damage the hose. And then when you're done with it, all you do is you turn it off, you unplug your hose, and that's all. So these, are, like I said, are placed throughout the home about every uh, five to eight hundred square feet. And how they're placed on the wall is with a backing plate, like this. So in a new construction, what you'll do is you'll take your stud here, and you'll just go ahead and screw it right onto the stud, put it up against there three screws you apply it and then you would apply your fitting to the back of that. And that's how that works. In a existing construction what you do is you would pop off the side here like that and just take this, cut your hole into the drywall and attach your inlet just like that. Now at GoVacuum.com uh, we have a lot of kits for existing homes. Some of the unique features of it are the fact that they're wireless where you don't have to run any low voltage wire at all. So that's something that's nice. Um, but basically what you're doing is you're taking this inlet backing and you're putting on a fitting. So how does the dirt get to the main centrally located unit? It all runs through piping like this. This is, uh, low, uh, this is central vacuum pipe and it is a really thin schedule pipe so it's flexible. You never want to use Schedule 40 piping. And I know there's a couple companies out there that sell an adapter to go from Schedule 40 to Central Vacuums. Don't ever use Schedule 40 piping. You can damage your uh, Central Vacuum system. And because this has play, and because, because this has flex, it allows the Central Vacuum pipe to flex. If you don't have uh, play and flex in your piping, what can happen is it can crack because it's working on the sealed system completely. So every time you go to use your Central Vacuum, there is no air going through the pipes at all anywhere. It's completely sealed. The second you open this, all the suction comes from here. So that's one reason why a central vacuum, you can only use one hose at a time in one room unless you have multiple units. So you plug your hose in here, all the suction is coming through here. The second you close it, it's completely sealed. So that's why you want to have the flex in that pipe. But you just take a short 90 here like this and you put it on the back of your inlet and then run your pipe throughout your home and you use long 90s in the wall. By using the longer 90s in the wall, what happens is it will never clog in your wall. That's one question that people always ask, do central vacuums clog? No, they don't. And the reason for that is if you're using your short 90 on the backing plate here and your long 90 in your wall, it's more it's going to clog here where you can just reach in, pull out any obstruction versus in your wall if it's installed properly. And you can have multiple lines running throughout your home, you connect them with these T's here or Y's. And what this does is essentially you're running to the unit. This is running to the unit. You have an inlet here. You have an inlet down here with this one. And that pipe all runs to your unit. Now you can have multiple inlets uh, depending upon the size of your central vacuum and the size of the motor, how many square feet it's designed for, based off how many inlets. You can do any. You can do up to 15, 20,000 square feet to one central vacuum unit and you can have multiple, you know, 20 inlets to one unit. Um, other additional things that they have for central vacuums, not just the hose, new features include something like this. This is called a vacuum pan. Place this in the baseboard of your cabinet. Take your foot, you tap it. All the suction goes through here. You take a broom, you broom everything into it. Kick it here, it shuts right back off. This is really convenient in mudrooms, kitchens, or anything like that where you want to use a broom. 
other things that they have are something like this. This is called a uh, back sock, and this is essentially a uh, cloth cover for your central vacuum hose, so it's not going to scratch up your uh, baseboards or furniture or anything like that. A lot of times in regular vacuum cleaners, that can happen as well. So this is how a central vacuum works. What are the added benefits of a central vacuum? The biggest thing is power. Uh, central vacuums can have two motors. They can have 30, 40 amps of power, and you can do up to 220, 240 volts. Whereas a residential vacuum cleaner, the maximum the UL allows is 12 amps in a portable vacuum cleaner. So that's the most you can have in any vacuum cleaner that's portable, period, as for residential use. And the biggest thing also is filtration. A lot of the vacuum companies have the uh, HEPA filters because you're filtering the air and it's going back out into your home. With a central vacuum, the air is exhausted outside of your home. Not all the time, but if you choose to do that, you can have it exhausted outside your home. Just like a dryer vent would close and then open, all the exhausted air opens as the central vacuum turns on, the flap opens, it's exhausted outside of your home, it shuts back off as you turn off the central vacuum. So that's giving you true 100% filtration. So you don't have to worry about a HEPA filter or anything like that with a central vacuum. But there's many reasons for a central vacuum, why to do one. The biggest thing is, can you do one? Yes, you can do a central vacuum. We're here at GoVacuum.com. I personally have 15 years of experience in the central vacuum vacuum business. There's other guys here who have many, many years of experience with central vacuums. We will walk you through installing a central vacuum. If you're building a new home, or if you uh, are do it yourself, or you want to do it in the weekend, we can help you do that. Uh, we'll work with your builder for uh, your set of plans. If you want to take a video and show us how your home is laid out, we'll tell you where to install the inlets. You can send us a diagram. You can just call us and we can talk to you through it, how to do it. We have packages ranging from $749 on up to $2,000 for, you know, 10, 15,000 square foot mansions. And we're here for free, uh, we're here with uh, free advice. Just give us a call, 888-468-2210, 888-468-2210, info at govacuum.com, or you can chat live with us at govacuum.com. And we're here for you all seven days of the week, Monday through Saturday, from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., and on Sunday from 11 a.m. until 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm Justin with GoVacuum.com, and this is essentially how a central vacuum works. Any questions, please feel free to contact us. Thank you.